Hey everyone, I hope you've had a good, blessed week in the Lord. Um, this prophetic video is about a prophetic dream I had on Tuesday night of this week. Okay, I pray that you all will stick with me to the end of this video because there is a lot of interpretation um, that God gave for this one particular dream. It's profound, okay? Um, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to jump right in and tell the dream. And then at the end of the dream, I will give you all the interpretation that God gave. So in this dream, the prodigal, um, the prodigal husband had broken off a relationship with his mistress. He was moving out of an, out of, out of an apartment he um, had shared with his mistress, okay? Um, he was going to be moving in with his mother. His wife was there with him, helping him. Uh, move and to clean the apartment okay so they took a uh, they took a break and the husband took a break from cleaning went to the refrigerator to grab a bottle of water and when he opened up the refrigerator there was a bomb in the refrigerator it went off God protected them both okay the husband went over towards where there was a couch still in the apartment he sat down he pulled his wife into his lap um, and he was holding her her back was facing him. She was directly in his lap. She, the wife was upset because she felt like the uh, mistress had no regard for life. And um, she was just like, what if our kids had been here helping you move? You know, cause they had older children. So she was upset. The husband was trying to calm her down and console her. At that point, um, they heard keys at the door. They both knew that it was the mistress coming through the door. She still had a few things left there as well. The wife tried to get up out of um, her husband's lap, but he would not let her get up. He would not let her move. He wouldn't let her move. She actually became a little aggravated with him. It was like, get off me, let me get up. Um, and the re, I'm gonna stop and say this here. The reason why she wanted to get up is because she's a peaceful woman of God. She did not, she's not the type of woman to try to make another woman jealous. Though she had the right to be in her husband's lap, She's the, she's the one that's married to him. She wanted to get up because she wanted this to be a peaceful transition. She didn't want the mistress coming in, getting all jealous and being, um, just being rowdy about seeing her in her own husband's lap. So she, that's why she wanted to get up. Husband would not let her get up. He held on to her. Okay. And the revelation of that part, I'll go ahead and insert that here. The reason why he wouldn't let her get up is because he was back into position. He was there protecting her. Um, he knows what type of woman that he was dealing with, with this mistress. That's why he would not let his wife get up. He was holding on to her. Okay. So the, um, the mistress comes through the door, but she's not alone. She has several people with her. I don't know the exact number y'all, but I do know it was more than five because it was several people that was with her. Okay. Um, and they were antagonizers. They were came in, they came through the door and the people that was with the mistress said, well, 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 what do we have here? The mistress came over to where the, uh, wife and the husband were, and you could tell she wanted to be confrontational. You could tell she wanted to say something, but it was like she was being restrained. She could not even come. She was over, though she was over there in the vicinity they were, she could not come near them. You know, she if she would have stretched out her arm, she would have been nowhere near them, though she was over on the side of the living room that uh, they were sitting. Okay, the wife wanted to open up her mouth, not be confrontational, but she wanted to say something to her because she wanted to enlighten this other woman. Hey, my children could have been harmed if they had been here when that bomb went off. <clears throat> but um, it was like God gave her a piece and wouldn't let her open up her mouth, okay? And then the dream ended. I woke up. All right, I'm going to give you all the interpretation of each little point um, that God gave me. So the reason that the wife was there helping him move um, out of this apartment, he shared with the mistress. She was there helping him clean. God gave me 1 Corinthians seven fourteen when it talks about the unbelieving husband being sanctified um, through his wife. Okay, God gave me that for the reason why she was there the one that was helping her clean and not, you know, one of his homeboys or whatnot, okay? God wants to say this to you. Um, 
Don't be discouraged if your husband, if your prodigal spouse does not move back in directly with you. He says, because restoration is a process, okay? There is a process to this. Um, anything you restore, old house, old painting, anything, um, old car, it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, okay? Yes, God can make things happen overnight, but this is the process. So don't be discouraged, she says. Um, the bomb being in the refrigerator. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just looking at my notes. I don't want to miss anything because he said so much. The bomb being in the refrigerator. Um, he, I asked him, why was it in the refrigerator? And God said, because the refrigerator represents life. Okay, the re refrigerator represents life because we need nutrition. We need water to sustain life, okay? So that's why I was in there. God is known as living water. God is known as living water, you all. The husband had a thirst. God says your prodigal um, is going to have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness, okay? He was going after water, living water. Um, that's the interpretation of that part of the, of that part of the dream. Okay, he gave me John 4, 14, the woman at the well, when God said, but whosoever shall, or Jesus said, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, okay? God says, your your prodigal is not going to thirst after other women, after men, after this restoration, okay? They will not have a thirst for anything other than God and the things of God, Okay? John 7, 38, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me, okay? Also, a bomb represents war. This is spiritual war, you all. It is spiritual war, and the devil does not play fair. Also, the devil wants to kill your prodigal's destiny, wants to kill your prodigal's destiny, okay? I talked about the woman, um, the wife, wanting to get up because she does not want to provoke jealousy, okay? Though she had a right to be in her husband's lap. She is a virtuous woman. Um, and then I talked about the the reason why the the husband didn't want her to get up because he knew what type of woman the other woman was. So he was protecting her. Your prodigal is coming back into position. Um, God is our overall protector, but your husband is supposed to protect you, okay? He was protecting his wife. That's why he would not let her get up out his lap. Also, I talked about how the uh, other woman, it was like she was being restrained, okay? This is the, this is the uh, husband and this is the wife sitting directly in front of him in his lap. God says the reason why there was a restraint, hallelujah, the reason why the other woman was restrained is because the praying wife, the praying wife was a shield, hallelujah, was a shield for her husband. God said that praying wife is, praying wife is a wall of fire. Hallelujah. There was a wall of fire in front of the, um, the husband. And that's why she was restrained. Okay. The last point, um, God wants to make when this adulterous, uh, affair ended, um, when the lease on this apartment, the, the lease wasn't up, the lease on this apartment was broken. Okay. The mistress knew then that it was indeed over. That's why she's planting bombs and she's doing these little things to try to um, try to harm the man um, that she took away from the wife, okay? But for a season, let me say that it was it was for for a season. It wasn't. It was temporary. It was temporary because God's going to restore this marriage. Um. So. The reason why there was so many people with the um, there were so many people with the uh, other woman coming through the door. Okay, it made no sense. There wasn't that many things in there to have that many people there to come help you clean. So the interpretation, you all, of that part of the dream, God gave me Matthew forty three through forty five. And I'm just going to read it real quick. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then he goes back, hallelujah, he goes back and taketh with himself seven other spirits, okay? Those, the interpretation of those people coming through the house, those were spirits coming back, 
okay? They were coming back. And I know that there is going to be a man, there's going to be a man of God that is in an adulterous affair to watch this video because God has revealed it to me. I am speaking to you. It is more than just sex. It is more than just sex. Hallelujah. You are picking up spirits and you are bringing them home and your wife is having to contend with them and your children, hallelujah, are having to contend with them. You need to return back unto God. You need to end that relationship. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, God. You need to end that relationship, the Lord says, and you need to return back unto him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So the, the mistress was upset that it was over. But like I said, the devil does not go away easy. Will not go away without a fight. So that's why those people, several people had came back with her. Those were spirits. This is a spiritual war, you all. Those were spirits coming back. Okay? But they could not. Hallelujah. They could not accomplish what they came to accomplish because that praying, that virtuous wife was there. Hallelujah. She was there. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. May God be glorified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm just looking over my notes to make sure I got everything. Um, thank you, Lord. Jesus. God, you're so worthy. I pray that you all would, if you have a prodigal, I pray and you come across this video I pray that you would take this word back to the Lord to see whether it is for you, okay? See whether God intended this word to be for you, okay? May you all be blessed. May you all um, remain hopeful. If God's promised you restoration, may you remain hopeful. May you keep praying for your marriage. Keep praying for your prodigal spouse. But don't be so consumed with your prodigal spouse's life and trying to keep tabs on him, you keep tabs on God and what God's up to. Don't don't try to keep tabs on your prodigal, okay? Because it will drive you insane. It will drive you crazy, okay? God wants you to focus on him, focus on your life and what God has for you. Focus on your ministry. Don't um, You all may have been in ministry together, but don't let that um, deter you from you still doing your part, okay? You still have a ministry apart from your prodigal leaving. God wants you to focus on, on him, focus on what he's up to in your own life, okay? Be blessed, you all. Be blessed. I love you. God loves you. Um, and remain hopeful, okay?